Close to 80 million euro was paid out to just over 33,000 farmers under the Beef Exceptional Aid measure in 2019. As part of the scheme, farmers committed to reducing their overall bovine nitrogen by 5%. The 5% reduction is based on the cattle held in the reference year of July 1st 2018 to June 30th 2019 and must be achieved during the 12 month period which started July 1st this year and ends the 30th of June 2021. I'm on farm today in Kilkenny where this farmer has partaken in the Beef Exceptional Aid Measure Scheme, otherwise known as the BEAM Scheme. As part of this scheme compliance, from July 1st of this year, 2020, they aim to reduce their organic bovine nitrogen by 5%. The farmer we are with today runs a suckler to beef enterprise. As we can see, the farmer has a total organic bovine nitrogen production figure of 8,194 kilograms of organic nitrogen, based on the reference period July 2018 to June 2019. Based on the calculations and the scheme compliance, they must reduce this organic bovine nitrogen production figure by 410 kilograms, allowing them to reach the scheme compliance reduction figure of 5%. Firstly, the farmer scanned all suckler cows selected for breeding. This resulted in the culling of six cows that were scanned empty. This assisted in reducing the stock numbers on the farm significantly. The farmer also chose to commence the slaughter of his one to two year old animals earlier in the season, with all animals to be slaughtered by mid-November. Applicants will have recently received a letter from the Department of Agriculture outlining their individual 5% reduction target. What farmers must do now is talk to their advisor and plan ahead what number of stock they will have going forward up until June 30th, 2021. Options such as reducing sheep numbers or requiring extra land will not be counted as part of your reduction. The most common issue we see raised is by the farmer who was more lowly stocked during the 2018-2019 reference period and has now increased numbers for 2020, meaning the reduction necessary will be greater than 5%. Farmers should also be conscious of their commitments to other schemes such as the BDGP, BEEP and the ANC scheme and factor these into their decision making. Remember, failure to comply with the scheme requirements will mean a clawback money paid out in the scheme, so it is essential that individual farmers have a plan in place to assure they comply with the scheme.